Hi class, my name is Suzanne Willis. Welcome to Chem 151 for the summer. I will be your instructor for the class and lab portions of this class. Um, here is the syllabus I'm going to run through today and kind of get you oriented to the class, show you where to find everything, and get you set up. So a little bit about myself. I've been teaching at AB Tech now for 10 years. And prior to that, I taught at UNCA some and high school. I, my background is I went to Appalachian State and then Wake Forest. And um, I studied exercise science for cardiac and pulmonary rehab and then kind of fell into teaching. And I'm from a teaching family and uh, ended up teaching high school and realizing how much I love to teach chemistry. So I went back um, and got graduate degree in chemistry so that um, I could teach higher education, and I have loved it. AB Tech's kind of my happy spot. I love the community college um, atmosphere and environment. I also love teaching chemistry specifically. Um, I know it's not everybody's favorite subject, which is somewhat why I like it. I kind of like the challenge of making it, um, you know, more accessible to people who it is challenging for, and then just continuing um, growing people's interests who who do actually like chemistry. So I know it's usually a mixed bag and I am glad to help however I can this um, semester. And we won't be meeting face-to-face -face at all. So it's a completely asynchronous class, which means we won't be face-to-face um, -face on Zoom. We won't be in person um, on campus. So I'm just available kind of virtually to you. So you'll see today that everything's fully laid out for you on the course. You can work pretty much at your own pace as long as you're meeting deadlines. And um, that's a great thing about it is you can kind of get ahead when you need to get ahead um, and kind of budget your time according to your lifestyle. Um, I am home for the summer and I have four kids. So they are 10, 8, 6, and 2. So um, I'll go ahead and say if you email me, and you don't hear back from me within 24 hours, please email me again. So I try to be very communicative. I respond really quickly to emails. Um, but if it catches me at a distracted moment, then it, it might pass me by. So if you haven't heard back from me in a day, please email me again. You're not bothering me at all. Um, I want to be here and support you through the semester. And um, I'm glad to do so. Um, so here I'll start walking through the syllabus and then I'll kind of jump around to the different websites you'll be using for the class and then you can always email and ask me if you have any questions at all um, as you're kind of getting oriented to everything. But most of the time students don't have a lot of problems so they kind of see where everything is and then it's very routine. Um, each week is pretty much set up really similarly. Okay. So it is Chem 151, like I mentioned, it's completely asynchronous, meaning we are not meeting at any set times or dates, you work on it on your own, and then um, you can just touch base with me as needed. Okay, I will email y'all weekly, so please do check your AB Tech School email regularly. That's the only way I really have to communicate with you. Any changes that's happening, you know, if a deadline needs to be shifted, if there's a typo somewhere, an error in a test, et cetera. Just things like that, I'll always email you. I also generally email once or twice a week just to kind of remind you of the upcoming due dates and what you need to be working on, okay? So please do check those regularly. Uh, we'll start here with what you need for the class. So this is the technical textbook that we follow, okay? Chemistry, the Central Science, 15th edition. However, you will not have assignments out of that book, and it is a very expensive book if you buy it new. So you're welcome to buy it new, or you can use an older edition, or you can use an e-text. So let me tell you about the e-text option. One required material is down here, Mastering Chemistry Access Code. You have to purchase this access code. It allows you to complete the homework online, and it is associated with the 15th edition textbook that is listed here. You have to have the Mastering Chemistry, so here's the way you can do this. You can either buy the brand new textbook. If you do, it will come with the access code and you'll be all set. 
Um, that's the same material for Chem 151 and 152. So you can keep that in mind if you're taking both of those semesters. Um, or you can buy just the access code on the website for a master in chemistry and it comes with an e-text and it is a ton cheaper. So that's typically what I tell students to do. You can either buy the hard copy and it'll come with an access code or you can buy the access code and it'll come with an e-text. Most students, once they follow my lectures and complete notes, they never open their textbook. So I think an e-text is probably sufficient because it's there on your computer if you need to look up um, some extra example problems or something. Um, so this is very much required, the Mastering Chemistry Access Code, and it has to match the 15th edition. So please double check over and over again that you're getting the correct access code. Um, and then you can decide if you want a hard copy or just an e-text for the textbook. Another required thing is the lab manual. This has to be purchased through the AB Tech bookstore. You can go in person or they can mail it to you if you're out of town. I think it's only about $5, um, but it can't be purchased elsewhere. If you can't get it in time for the first lab, that's no problem. Um, just email me and I'll send you a copy of the first couple of labs so you don't get behind. Um, same with the access code here. If you're waiting on financial aid or you need a couple extra weeks before you can purchase it, there is a temporary access that's for two weeks and you can do that right on the Mastering Chemistry website, set up for the free trial, and then you can just roll that right over to um, the real subscription once you buy the access code, okay? The last thing you'll need is just an app on some kind of phone or printer where you can scan or take pictures of your lab pages um, that you complete and be able to convert them into PDF because then you'll submit them in a PDF version and I can write on them and give you feedback. If they're not in PDF, I sometimes have trouble seeing them and I also can't write on them so you don't know what you're getting wrong. Here are just a few options. Most people end up using the cam scanner um, that seems to be a really easy one, or the notes on an iPhone, okay? So you don't need any materials for lab other than the lab manual. You don't need goggles, gloves, any lab equipment. All of the lab is gonna be online. I'll show you where to find the videos, and then you complete all of the questions and the calculations um, associated with the lab. Here's my information. So I am Suzanne Willis here. Um, here's my phone number, but I really should take that off because I'm not on campus. If you call it, it'll just remind you to email me, okay? Here's the email. You definitely can email me anytime, any day, and make sure I respond within 24 hours. I'm putting that as your responsibility. Um, I'll do my very best to write back quickly, but if you don't hear from me, please email again. Um, I will not be on campus, and I don't have set office hours, but um, I'm happy to help via email. That's usually the easiest way. If um, we do need to talk on Zoom, we can set that up. I'm also going to show you a couple of tutoring options that can be helpful as well. Okay? Um, so let's scooch over to Moodle page for a minute. Here's the Moodle page. It's going to have all the lectures, the labs, the notes here for you. Okay? I will send out announcements through this. That'll go to your email regularly if I ever um, want to update you on anything. Course messaging is where you can message each other. If you want to ask people, hey, did you figure out, you know, how to do this? You know, obviously you shouldn't be maybe talking about a test question. Um, but if there's a question on a lecture that you're like, I just, this one's not making sense, or is anyone interested in, in studying together? etc. That's your contact to other people. So course messaging is there for you. Um, here I will always have the upcoming due dates right here. So it's just kind of leading up to the next test usually. I'm going to run through the different types of assignments that you have. The very first assignment is this syllabus verification. This is a really important and really easy assignment, okay? It's going to mark you as active and present in the course. Um, so that you don't get dropped by the registrar. So all you do is you read through the syllabus, you make sure you've asked me any questions you have, and then right down here there's a link for syllabus verification, and you just say that you agree to the policies you've asked questions, and that has to be completed by Thursday the 8th, okay? So that's the first assignment. That'll be a one-time thing. 
Outside of that, if you look at our list of um, assignments here, it kind of explains the course. You're only going to have three types of assignments in total, okay? You're going to have experiments. You'll see you'll have about two a week. So experiment one and two, experiment three and four. Mastering chemistry, that's where your homework is going to be. I will be honest, sometimes it's called a quiz, but it is the same thing. Every chapter will have one assignment. You can call it a quiz, you can call it homework, but it, um, you can use all your notes, you can use any resources you want, um, but there's one on each chapter. And then the test, okay? So now I'm going to kind of walk through the Moodle page, show you where all of this is found and what order in which to do everything, okay? Um, here's the course schedule you can pull up. It's also at the end of the syllabus. And it looks like this, okay? So it's marked out by weeks. So here's our first week, our second week, our third week, our fourth week. I'm going to be really, really honest with you right up front to say this is an extremely fast-paced course, okay? For me, this class feels busy even in a fall or spring semester, which is 16 weeks. Here, we are scrunching this into eight weeks. It's very doable. I've taught this for multiple summers in a row, um, asynchronous like this, and people do very well. But I will say it takes a lot of um, time. So you would generally be on campus with me for six hours of lecture every week if we were in person and then two labs. So just be aware that that's what is going to demand from you probably is several hours of lectures every week, several hours of labs and homeworks every week, okay? Um, you are able to shift this as needed, but I've kind of given you a, a layout so that you kind of have a timeline to not get behind. Um, so each week, it'll tell you what lectures to listen to. I'll show you where to find those in a minute. What labs to complete. I'll show you where to find those in a minute. And then what mastering chemistry you need to work on and when the next test is. Okay, those are kind of the three things it'll tell you every week. So let me hop over to Moodle and show you how to work the Moodle page. At the top, there's just equation sheets, periodic tables, extra things you might want. Okay, right here are the lecture links. So you're gonna click here, Willis Live Videos Recorded. Ignore all due dates because this was a live course that I taught a few semesters ago. And so it's going to feel very much like a seated class, which is really good. So it helps students, I think, a lot. Um, but I'll talk about due dates that do not um, pertain to you. Okay, so just ignore it when I say a date. Here are the chapter one lectures, one, two, three, and four. I try to make them, you know, somewhat of a normal class setting. So then you can take a break and do the next one, take a break and do the next one. What I'm doing in these videos is I'm going through what are called guided notes. And you'll see that I've already broken this down. Like in the first week, you should watch these. In the second week, you should watch these. If you know you're going to be out of town this third week or have a really busy work week, then go ahead and scooch those up. You have freedom with that to budget your own time. So please do so so that at the end or at any time, really, you're not feeling super um, tight with your schedule. So everything is already there ready to go. You'll see these guided notes filled in over here, um, and that's just the notes that I took during the lecture. Let me show you where to find these guided notes. So there's lectures. I'm going to scroll down, and you're going to see each chapter show up. I'll come back to all of that. Okay, each chapter has a big list of materials. To be honest, a lot of it is not mine. My material starts with what's called guided notes and below, okay? If you like a PowerPoint, go for it. It's up there, but I don't use it. So if you open up these guided notes, if you have an access to a printer, that would be the best thing you can do, is print the blank guided notes. When you're watching the video, write in the notes as I write in, because that's how my classes are structured in person, and it's also how they're structured online. So if you can write as I write, you're going to feel much more engaged with the material, and it's going to make a lot more um, it's going to make better use of your time so you're not just sitting there listening to me talk about atoms and wah wah and think, you know, this is boring and I'm not sure I'm going to remember any of this. If you're writing it with me, you'll feel more engaged like it's a normal class and it'll stick in your brain better, okay? So I definitely recommend printing these. If you can't print, that's totally fine. Just have out paper and kind of write the outline as we go. 
So you'll notice this is all of chapter one. So every chapter on Moodle has a guide in notes that are blank and then those that are filled in. Then you'll notice there's some extra practice problems with answer keys. Those are never graded. Those are just, hey, if you want some extra practice for that chapter, there you go. It's right there. You'll notice chapter two, the very much same. Chapter two, guided notes. Print them, have them for your lectures, fill them in, and then there's extra practice if you want it. Chapter three, guided notes, extra practice, okay? So that's how every chapter is set up on there. Okay, so now I have covered lectures. So you know what to do for lectures. You find them right here on Moodle. They're laid out by chapter, they're laid out by week. You click right there for lectures and you go through the guided notes, okay? For labs, the link for labs is right here. So when you click on this, up will come all the labs for the whole semester. So once again, you could do them as soon as you get to that material and lecture. They are generally associated with the lecture. So remember how the schedule looked like this. I'll show you again. These experiments are somewhat based on the lecture for that week. So I would always recommend getting through that chapter lecture before trying to attempt the lab. Okay, there's a few that don't match perfectly, but that's generally how the course is set up. So the labs will make a lot more sense after you complete the lecture videos listed. Okay, so here what you'll do is you'll pull up a lab link and it'll look like this. So this is experiment two, which is a really typical lab. You'll have your lab manual that you purchased at the AB Tech bookstore. As you, as you watch these videos in order, you'll fill in those lab pages. So most, you'll get data from the video and then you'll also get some data from this document. After you've watched the videos, you've written down the data, you'll then complete all the calculations, okay? So you'll have everything right here for you. Just watch me complete the lab, listen to me as I talk through the techniques and the calculations, and then you'll be able to complete all of the pages for that lab. Once you complete your lab pages, you'll take pictures of it. Like um, when I mentioned, you'll need an app to do this. You'll take pictures, you'll convert it to PDF, and then let me hop to Moodle. Right below the link to all the lab stuff, is each um, submission link. So once you have experiment one finished or experiment two finished, you'll click on there and it'll allow you to add your PDF and then I can grade it online then. You're welcome to turn these in early. Um, I will likely not grade them until close to the due date just because I like to grade them all in bulk just to be more consistent. So don't think I haven't seen it. Um, I'll get to it um, right around that due date. OK, so you'll see that is the case for all of the labs. OK, so you'll listen to my videos, grab the data from there and then um, submit them right there. For labs, um, as far as late credit goes, I typically I will um, accept labs up to two days late for 10 points off each day. If you are in the hospital, if you are, you know, in a car accident, if blah, blah, blah. If it is a reasonable um, situation and it's not happening every time, please email me if there's a week where you're like, this has happened and I cannot do this lab right now. Is there any way I could turn it in a couple days late? Uh, we can talk about those scenarios if you email me at that time. Don't email me, please, a month later and ask if you can turn in an old lab. So I will accept them up to two days late without any communication. But if you have a crazy circumstance, please touch base with me and we'll try to work it out. You also get to drop one lab grade. So if one lab you just don't get to, that's totally fine. I'll enter a zero, but it won't count towards your, your grade. Okay. And then tests will be found right here on Moodle. They're all set up. You can um, submit them anytime up to the due date. So there are set due dates for tests, and I don't extend these dates. So if you know you have to work a lot that weekend and you can't finish it by that Sunday night, then um, plan to take it ahead. So kind of budget your time, figure it out, work ahead. Once again, if you can communicate with me, if something crazy happens, then I'm going to be as understanding as possible. Um, but generally, we need to take tests ahead of time. They will not open for you afterwards unless we've talked, okay? 
Um, a test grade is not so much dropped. What happens with a test grade is when you take the final exam at the end, the final exam counts as two additional tests. So I think you have five normal tests. The final count as two tests. And then if it helps, it can replace your lowest test grade. So if you did miss a test and it was a zero, if you made an 80 on the final, it would become an 80. Um, or if you had a low test grade of a 50, the 80 would replace the 50. Okay, so it's not like you just get to lose, you know, drop one grade, but the final can replace it. The tests are um, a one attempt situation. They're timed. You'll always see how many questions and what the time is. They're all multiple choice. You are allowed to use your notes and textbook. You cannot use other people and you cannot use just general online resources. So that is the, the rules for the test. Um, and that's how those will work, okay? So the one other thing I need to show you is mastering chemistry. So this is where your homework is. Remember, they will sometimes be called um, quizzes, and I always mean to change that, but I think the syllabus calls them quizzes, or the um, grade book, that's where it is. The grade book calls them quizzes, but they are just assignments. Okay, so here's what the Mastering Chemistry Act um, looks like. You can... Um, just put in Google Mastering Chemistry and you'll get right here, okay? So if you purchase a brand new textbook, it'll come with an access code. So you'll say get registered and register now. And then what you'll do is you'll have to put in my course ID. So my course ID can found, be found a couple places. It's in the syllabus and it's also right here on Moodle in bright red, okay? 34115. Willis 34115, so you'll click that in. Okay, it's not accepting at the moment because the class hasn't started. But you'll put that in and it'll open up my course. And then you'll either put the access code that came with your brand new textbook or you'll purchase it right there. If you purchase it through Mastering Chemistry, it'll come with all the assignments and an e text. So you'll have an online version of the textbook. What it'll look like once you have an account is let me log in here and I'll show you exactly what you'll see. Remember that each chapter will have one assignment, right? Okay, so here's our class. And you'll see all of our assignments for the whole class ready to go for you when I click on all assignments. Okay, they're in a little bit wonky order, but not for any good reason. So chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then you'll see three experiments. That's because three labs, instead of doing the lab in the lab manual, you'll actually complete an assignment here. That is written in your schedule um, on Moodle, and then I'll also remind you when that comes around. But you'll notice that there's three lab assignments, and then there's a chapter assignment for every one. These are not timed. You have two attempts on every single assignment, so please use them how you want to use them. Use all materials that you want to use. Um, you can open and close it as many times as you want to. This is meant for practice. Like, yes, it is a graded assignment, but it's not meant to feel like a quiz. It's not meant to feel like a test. Sometimes students do like to do the first attempt really slowly and with your notes and then use the second attempt like a quiz. You can do that because it's only going to keep your highest grade. So you can attempt once, you can attempt twice, and it'll just keep the, the highest score. Okay, so those are all there. They do have set due dates. Um, one assignment is dropped from the homework. So one assignment goes away. And um, you can complete these late. Uh, there is a late penalty every day that they're late, but they will always be accepted. And um, they'll never go down more than 50%. So you can always get some credit for these. I would rather you do them than not. Um, so labs can be turned in up to two days late. Mastering chemistry homework anytime late, but both have late penalties. So please try to keep up as much as you can for each. So I think I'm getting close to talking through everything. Let me run through um, the syllabus just to show you anything that I have missed. So you can go through all of this 
I've talked about um, the late policy. So here's a list of the labs. You'll see most are in your lab manual. And then there are three that are mastering chemistry. So you don't do the pages in your lab manual. Here's practice problems in your book. This is completely optional. Most people do not do them. I would recommend watch my lecture, do mastering chemistry, and use the problems I've put on Moodle myself. Here's information on how to set up your mastering chemistry. Here's our code again. You can also find it on Moodle. Um, just a reminder, there's three graded assignments. The quizzes are just mastering chemistry. They shouldn't feel stressful like a quiz. Just complete them using all of your material. You have two attempts. The lowest attempt um, or the highest attempt is kept and then you get one dropped grade. Labs, remember you can turn them up in up to two days late for a 10 point reduction in credit. Please touch base with me if you're going to complete it after that. Um, and the lowest lab grade will be dropped. Tests, remember they're on middle. Um, you will be able to complete them at any time up until their due date. So this is actually inc incorrect. There's not a two day time frame. Instead, it's complete this test by June 15th. Complete this test by July 1st. You can work ahead as much as you want to work ahead. Okay. Um, so please touch base with me if you are missing material, if anything has happened. Um, here is how it's laid out grade-wise. Your tests count for 50%, your mastering chemistry for 25%, and your labs 25%. Um, one thing I would like to talk about is tutoring, and I will do that, and then I think we're complete. Um, so here's the schedule again. It also can be found on the top of middle. Um, so right here, I just wanted to tell you two tutoring options. So the tutoring center flyer right here, there is a tutoring center on campus. It's completely free. You can go face-to-face -face or you can Zoom. This flyer will tell you the hours they are available and how to link to them, where they're located. So please use that. Um, students really like it when they use it regularly. So you can go for 15 minutes or you can go for an hour. Um, if you go in person, they just let you work on your own until you flag them and say you need help. Um, so it's a really good working environment. The other option is this thing called Thinking Storm. And it's an online tutoring service. I might have said the wrong thing. Yeah, Thinking Storm. Um, online tutoring. The good thing about them is they're open 24 hours a day and they're purely online. So if you're working at 1 a.m., um, you know, I won't be available. The tutoring center won't be available, but Thinking Storm will. So you can log on and ask them your question. I think each student has access to five hours of that. If you need extra, let me know and I might can get you more. Um, but the tutoring center at AB Tech is available as much as you want within their hours. Okay. So I hope all of that kind of gets you started on the class. So what you want to be doing very first is the syllabus verification. Read the syllabus. Say you agree with the policies and then start with your chapter one lectures. Once you do chapter one lectures, you're ready to do the first two experiments, you're ready to do the mastering chemistry for chapter one, and then you move to chapter two, okay? I hope that is all clear. I hope you have a good semester and are able to enjoy your summer while doing chemistry. Um, I'm glad to help however I can, so please be in touch. Um, please use the resources on Moodle for you, the extra practice problems, the tutoring center, um, and I'm here as needed as well. So take care. Please let me know if you need anything and good luck in the course.